You guys ready to get started? Stuck inside my house I can't get out So I might as well watch Social distancing I'm Natalie Lander, and welcome to another episode of Social Distancing, the internet's first quarantine-inspired variety show. I'm not sure if we fact-checked that, but it's definitely my favorite quarantine-inspired variety show. We have another super fun episode today full of video submissions from you. Videos that show how people from all walks of life are dealing with being quarantined, and also how we're getting back to the new normal. Oh my God, I really hope this isn't the new normal. Not that I don't love hosting a show from my couch every week, but come on. Videos that show how we're dealing with self-isolation, the lack of the little things we used to take for granted, like pedicures. Oh my gosh, you should see the heels of my feet. Actually, you shouldn't, it's scary. And videos that hopefully will put a smile on your face. Because if they put a frown on your face, we're doing something very wrong. Okay, so I hope you all got that because there will be a quiz at the end of the show. Just kidding, I just got full test anxiety. Ooh, hated tests, hated school. All right, let's see some videos. I know a lot of us are feeling the economic stress that this pandemic has created. And this affects all of us even working actors in Hollywood. <sighs> Did you see that? Did it look like I was really crying? <laughs> okay, I'm available for hire. But this cute Hollywood couple has found a way to keep themselves entertained during quarantine. And I think it's kind of brilliant, actually. So without further ado, here are Tom and Holly with their quarantine-inspired song called Quarantine. Hey, what's up, social distancing? We're the Martins. And we made this music video to show y'all what we've been up to during quarantine. We hope you enjoy. I've been staring at this window glass. This isn't how it used to be. All our lives have changed oh so fast. But I'm not ready for defeat. loved that video. I was getting some major MTV 80s vibe. Not that I would remember the 80s. What? And I'm sorry, but I totally draw the line at handing my husband squares of toilet paper while he's, you know, taking a number two. 
Hey Jared, would you hand me my pants? What? No one's wearing pants right now. Get over it. Kids have really shown us that they can be so resilient during this pandemic. I mean, I'm really impressed. I have a five-year-old cousin who is loving this time. Me, I've thrown a tantrum every other day. Who's the child? And while coronavirus is nothing to laugh about, one little girl has found a way to do that. Our next submission is from LA, born and raised, seven-year-old kid influencer and junior reporter, Juliet Brooke, who might have found her second calling. Here is Juliet's COVID comic routine. Hey, social distancing, I'm Juliet. Welcome to Juliet's Comedy Corner. <laughs> you know, there's so many coronavirus jokes out there, it's like a pandemic. <laughs> hey, do you guys know what kind of jokes are allowed in quarantine? Inside jokes. <laughs> My sister was 12, but she just got a birthday yesterday, so I guess he's a quarantine. <laughs> Coronavirus. Eh, never mind. It's probably a long story. <laughs> what did the sick parent make their kid for lunch? Mac and sneeze. Ah, <laughs> I don't care what you think. It's funny. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. And the week after that. And the week after that. And probably through August. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is Juliet from Juliet's Comedy Corner. Thanks for watching. Keep on laughing. Oh my gosh. Juliet, mission accomplished. You are a gem, a national treasure. You have melted our hearts and managed to get us laughing about a very serious topic. If you have some quarantine comedy that you'd like to submit to us, head on over to our website, socialdistancing.com and submit your video. Guys, we have a submission from the one, the only, Brittany Ross. Oh, do you know Brittany Ross? Well, let me tell you. She is none other than recurring guest star on ABC's hit show, The Middle. Also, you might have recognized her from many, 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 many Disney shows, as well as the last season of Huge in France on Netflix. Plus, okay, let me tell you not to brag, she's my best friend. Although I might be replaced as her best friend because she just had the cutest baby ever. Now, one thing I don't envy maybe is having an infant in quarantine right now. Although Brittany seems to be handling it like a pro. Hey, social distancing. This is a video of me introducing my newborn baby to the world in a way that animals have done it since the beginning of time. It's a circle of life. I don't know about you, but the only circle of life I'm happening is the circles that I walk from my couch to the fridge, back to the couch again. Fun fact about that video, uh, you might recognize a little singing voice cameo. It's a circle of life. It was me, I sang that song. Corona Matata. What a, it's not really that wonderful. Yeah. It means no company for the rest of the year. It's our problem, not free, <laughs> full philosophy. 
Corona Matata. Corona Matata. Okay, that's a good, okay, that's your next one, Brittany. Get on it. This next submission comes from super talented actress, writer, director, and MTV regular, Miss Julie Brown. Ah! Her list of credits are endless. I don't have time to list them on this show, okay? So do yourself a favor and Google it. Google it. Seriously, you could spend an entire day, maybe even an entire week, being entertained by everything that Julie Brown has been a part of. But watch that after you finish watching this show. Cool? In this next video, she reprises her satirical take on pop star Madonna with her character Medusa in this quarantine-inspired sketch. Hi, social distancing. It's me, Julie Brown, and here's a video I made of me doing Madonna with my character Medusa. It's how I think she would be handling the virus. Hi, this is Medusa. I'm in my bathtub in my panic room, probably just like you. COVID-19 doesn't care how old you are, or how pretty you are, or how rich you are, or how scared you are of snakes or how much you are annoyed by Kelly Ripa, which is a lot, because COVID-19 is the big equalizer. But what about COVID-38 or COVID-44 or COVID-57 or COVID-61? No one's buying COVID's records and no one's coming to her concerts. What's gonna happen to COVID? <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for sending us that video. I mean, I am also just impressed that you put on full makeup and a wig to do that. Bravo, bravo. I love Medusa and I'm so excited because I hear that you're working on a new digital series featuring that character. So hopefully this quarantine is over soon so you can get back to shooting that. Something fun to look forward to. Now that Shanghai Disney and Disney Springs are open, I couldn't be more jealous. Come on, Disneyland. Open, 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 open. I really miss walking down Main Street and popping into one of the bakeries and getting a sensible square of fudge that's you know, four by four inches and eating it in one sitting and then hating myself for an hour and then popping back up and getting some cotton candy. Well, this next video is a tasty treat in itself. It comes from the talented bakery cast members at Disneyland Resort. While they patiently wait for the parks to reopen to get back to baking us some delectable treats, AKA just for me, they found a creative way to pass the time. Hi, social distancing. My name is Lindsay and I'm a baker at the Disneyland Resort. My fellow cast members and I all really miss making delicious desserts for you every day in the parks, but that doesn't stop us from baking at home. So we mixed it up a little bit and baked off this treat just for you. Why? Because we like you. So make sure you stay safe, keep baking, and we'll see you real soon.
It's gonna be a perfect day, a perfect day, a perfect day. It's gonna be a perfect day, a perfect day, a perfect day. Sorry, that video made me hungry. <sighs> Watching that video, I literally just gained seven pounds. And it's not because I'm eating a pint of ice cream by myself right now. Stop judging me. Well done, Disney Bakery team. Bravo! Thank you for keeping the Disney magic alive until we can get back into the parks. I'd give a standing ovation, but I'm a little busy right now. Mmm, cookies and cream. Sometimes at SDS, we like to showcase a little throwback video, <laughs> like this one that's a throwback to last Easter. Look, I know Easter happened last month, but let's face it, in quarantine, Easter's every day. <laughs> Lily has sent us quite a few videos for consideration of her singing about the day in and day out of challenges of being a stay-at-home mom and a working actress who's been put on hold since the pandemic started. So we wanted to share with you one of our favorites. So here's Lily Ann Klein with Easter Egg Blues. Social distancing, we love you. Thanks for enjoying my throwback Easter video. And stay safe, everyone. Bye. A COVID Easter egg hunt. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna be a good time. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna find lots of candy. Mm, mm, mm. Because I hit it myself. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, quarantine. Easter Sunday. You're not helping me keep away the COVID 19. Mm, 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 mm. Well, it started all right with walking and sleeping, just keeping six feet away from the grave. But stay at home orders made it harder to break out, except for my face looking just like a teen. Oh, quarantine, Easter Sunday. You're not helping me keep away the COVID-19. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't seem to matter how much Zoom exercise I do, even though I'm cooking more than before. This quarantine's a 24-7 PMS fest, so ice cream just keeps walking in through my door. Oh, quarantine, Easter Sunday. You're not helping me keep away the COVID-19. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gonna get me some peeps. Mm. Since I can't see my peeps. Happy Easter, everyone. I miss you. Oh, what a voice, Lily. Thank you so much for that submission. And I think when Broadway opens, you'll have a shot at leading lady in COVID the musical. Wait, too soon? Good luck and let's all keep social distance singing. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Social Distancing. If you enjoyed it, please show us a little love by giving a thumbs up or some uh, compliments in the comments. <laughs> I did curl my hair today. If any of our videos you saw here today has inspired you to create an original video of your own for a future episode of our weekly series, head on over to our official website at socialdistancing.com and click the submission tab for all the details. We can't wait to see what you'll create. And we can't wait to share them with the world. Yes, the world. Be sure to follow us on social media for exclusive content, highlights, and updates during the week. And please be sure to spread the word, not the virus, about social distancing to your friends, family, colleagues, frontliners, or anyone you think might need a smile. Anyone. 
got a question, comment, or suggestion for us? Send us an email at comments at socialdistancing.com. We love to hear from you. Until next week, I'm still Natalie Lander. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and practice good social distancing. Ing. Get it? Singing? Social distancing. off to a great start. Okay. <coughs> I'm not sick. God, back off. What am I talking about? Forget it. Having an infant during or quarantine? I don't know. What's that? Cool. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Okay, so not... So... A oh. oh, brain freeze. <laughs> Oof, sorry. That was a rough one. Maybe I should just have a baby. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. No, that went well. I guess that's it. <laughs>